guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at the Ford Performance Technical Center right outside of Charlotte Motor Speedway, and I have something ultra special for you, and it's this car right here. This is it. This is a 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse, but guess what? This is something extra special known as the Dark Horse R. But before we get into this production pony car that's made for the racetrack, let's talk about what's going on here. Ford, they are on a rampage going through their lineup, bringing new models, bringing new technology with the Ford Lightning, obviously the Mustang Mach-E, but guess what? 2024 is gonna go down in history as a major year for the Mustang. We've already brought to you the Mustang EcoBoost and the value that it brings with the performance. Of course, neither of us will forget going through Angeles Crest Highway with that six-speed manual Mustang GT, but now is the day we get to see what the plans are for Mustang and the Dark Horse name when it comes to the racetrack. Now, Dark Horse, this is a new name that has fallen into the Mustang stable of iconic names. You could think about the Boss 302. You could think about the Mach 1. Of course, all the plethora of Shelby vehicles that have come out of those garages. But guess what? This is something that is totally from Ford, Ford Performance. And like I said, something that's going to make getting to the racetrack and getting on track a lot easier for many people. But what I want to find out is if you have those dreams of maybe aspiring to race cars professionally, or maybe you just want to do it because you always dreamed of it, but you know it takes buckets of money to make it happen, is this Dark Horse R the best way to go if you're looking for that pony car into a true performance car, into a race car? Let's dive into this Dark Horse R and find out. Right off the bat, the one thing you're gonna notice, it looks exactly like the production version. This rolls right out of Ford Production Factory assembly line. One of the major things that they're gonna do is they're gonna do some seam welding. This is something that is important because it's gonna help make a more rigid chassis and also a safer chassis on the track. There's a full FIA certified race cage that's gonna protect, obviously, the driver and is something that is required around the world when it comes to racing on those road racing courses all over the place. Now at the front of the business, like I said, you're gonna see a lot of familiar looks. You're gonna get all that stock bodywork, even including your stock triple LED beam headlight design, just like the production model. You're gonna find that nice sort of like satin gray finish, how it comes down from the grill and goes towards the fender and then dipping all the way down, we have functionality. And that's really the name of the game when you're building the most powerful Coyote engine in a Mustang, that 500 horsepower, you're gonna need those functional bits, not only for when you're on the street, but especially for when you're on the track. So a lot of these things you're looking at and you're saying, wow, it looks just like the one I have in my garage. One thing you'll notice with the Dark Horse R is this massive, front splitter. Remember, the splitter has a couple different functions to it. Of course, we want to get downforce. We want to stop air from getting underneath the vehicle because that's going to create lift. We want to provide that downforce, but we also want to shovel as much air as we can to all those heat exchangers to bring the operating temperatures down. Now, one thing that's going to be different that's set up for the racetrack from your street going dark horse is the Magna Ride suspension. This vehicle has an upgraded Multimatic DSSV, that dual spool valve technology, technology that once started on Formula One cars many decades ago is now on this Dark Horse R. What that is gonna allow you to do is adjust, of course, your ride height, your camber, and everything else because every track is gonna be a different ball of wax. Whether you're racing at Daytona, whether you're racing at Sebring, you're gonna have to have that adjustability and that's where Multimatic comes into play with those dual spool valves. And what's great is, here's a little fun tip, if you didn't know, Multimatic is also very connected with the Ford GT because that's where all that production takes place. Now, as I come across the front end of the dark horse, it's nothing but the business. Of course, you're gonna have the mandatory front and rear tow hooks. That's something that in case 
there's a situation on track, they're able to get you out of the way. You can see how, like I said, the stock grill, the openings, everything is there, just like on your street go, going vehicle, and it's gonna bring all that cool air. Now, when it comes to the Dark Horse R, another major change is gonna be out back. You're gonna have a fuel cell rather than a gas tank. And the reason why they do that on race cars is because in the chance that you're in an accident, that's gonna help keep the fuel contained. Plus another thing that you have to remember with being on the racetrack, you're gonna be turning left, you're gonna be turning right, you got elevation change. We don't want all those fluids just sloshing around. That can actually affect the handling of the car over the whole race length, especially as you use fuel that's gonna make different changes. But I love on that lower portion, like I said, full functionality and the fact that it is stock production pieces. Now, as we kind of glide up, you're gonna notice that dark horse hood with your functional heat extractor. We got the Ford badge name going across the top like a pair of racing stripes. And you're also gonna get on this dark horse R, of course, are the hood pins. And wait until I show you just how easy it is. That's another thing. This is turnkey. You don't have to go out, you don't have to get yourself a catalog and try to figure out what do I need to go racing. This is something that you'll be able to purchase and it's ready to rock and roll. Now you may say to me, well, Joe, I don't want a full out race car, but I do want a better track car. Guess what? Ford Performance has you covered in that direction as well when it comes to the Dark Horse S. That is going to be a lightly modified version of the Dark Horse for people that want to get a little bit extra when it comes to doing track days uh, on the, you know, any given weekend. But this is that full out race car. Now, I think the other big piece of the news as we come around the bend is gonna be the introduction of the Mustang Challenge Series. This is a series that's going to be a support series with IMSA. Remember IMSA WeatherTech Series? There's a lot going on for 2024. Not only will we have a whole field of these dark horse R's that are all gonna be same spec, sealed engine. You don't have to worry about getting beaten by a faster car. The only problem is you gotta worry about getting beaten by a faster driver or a better team when it comes to setup. That series is gonna go with IMSA and be at different races throughout the year. That schedule is not out yet, but I'm very excited to bring that information. Plus, don't forget we have GT3 and GT4 base racing. One of the biggest things that I am chomping at the bit to see is a Mustang going down the Molson Strait at Le Mans. That is gonna happen next year, 2024. Now, as we come around the bend, we continue with the overall style of the car, but we see some more changes. Now, a lot of times when we look at these track cars, you'll see 18 inch wheels. We have 19 inch flow formed wheels, obviously trying to save weight because when you cut weight on the wheel, not only are you cutting the weight at all four corners, that's rotating mass. So you got quicker steering, faster turning, beautiful scent and finish. And that's the thing I like about the dark horse is that yes, it's a race car, but also this R looks just as good as the street going version. You'll notice that we have these Michelin Pilot Sport tires that have been specifically designed with Ford and Michelin for the dark horse. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size? Up front, you're looking at 295 on the width, 40 series sidewall. We have that Multimatic suspension, that dual spool valve technology. Another big name when it comes to performance, just like your street going dark horse, Brembo's. Now the Brembo's obviously have been enlarged. You'll notice those massive rotors, two piece rotors, gonna help cut down on rotating mass, but also dissipating heat. But these are the things, like I said, you don't have to guess. It comes exactly like this as the R and you're ready to rock and roll. Now coming down the side, of course, we got that dark horse badge. Remember, this is a name that's gonna go down in Mustang history, just like the names of the past with the Mach 1 and the Boss 302 and everything else. Now coming down the side, we'll notice the graphics that's promoting the Mustang Challenge Series. And then Lori's gonna show off that bright white FIA certified cage. Like I said, right from the factory, we got our fire suppression system. Another thing that's very important when you're racing. And let's check out the rear a little bit. So we talked about 295s up front. What do we have going out back here? You'll notice we have 295s on the rear. So we have that setup squared, all four corners, 30 series sidewall, love 
the way that this car just sits. It's ready to rock and roll. And the fact that it came out of the, the Ford production assembly line is just speaking volumes to what they're doing. Now, as we kind of swing it all the way around, you're going to see some things going on here. First of all, you're going to find a massive wing. Now, yes, on your street going dark horse, you do have a massive wing. And this one is even looking better. It's adjustable. You'll notice we have our gurney flap. Now, if you ever wondered why do why they call it the gurney flap? Why don't they call it like the, the Smith flap or something like that? Dan Gurney, he's the man. Not only was he one hell of a racer, but he also knew about engineering and aerodynamics, came up with this strip here, and he found that it did not create a ton of drag, but it gave you more downforce. Another fun fact, remember, Dan Gurney is the man that was the first to spray the champagne at Le Mans back in 1966 with A.J. Ford. And it's kind of cool to be here at the Ford Performance Technical Center because that was the year it was an American team, American car, and American drivers that won Le Mans, plus the spraying of the champagne. Now at the back end, you'll notice that adjustability. You'll see the design just like your street going dark horse, looking oh so good. We have this Borla exhaust, nice staggered tips. Wait until you hear the sound of this. And we got a nice sound clip for you because this V8, that Coyote, has that sound that you wanna hear. And then of course, that rear tow hook. Underneath here is gonna be your fuel cell, you got all your different coolers, just like your dark horse from the factory has that diff cooler, engine oil cooler, all those different coolers. You get it here as well. But why don't we go ahead? We have special permission. Let's pop the hood and see what the heck is underneath it. And if it's really a stock going dark right, horse. Guys, pinch. popping the hood, like I said, dark horse R comes with the hood pins. You're just going to push down, pop it up, push down pop it up and then this is how easy it is. You don't need a whole race team to get the hood off. It's actually a one, two, three thing. You actually have your factory hood struts holding up the hood. There is that functional heat extractor. And then probably the thing I'm most proud to say is look at that engine. That is your Coyote V8 plucked right from a production dark horse, sealed 500 horsepower, just like yours that you have in your garage. You got the dual throttle bodies. One thing you'll notice that is going to be unique is, of course, the camber plates. This is where you're going to be able to make those adjustments very easily. This is how the dark horse comes. You have, of course, uh, all the different cooling, everything that you need to turn those consistent fast laps, especially when it comes to the competitors. And that's the thing is that you want to hit your marks, know your braking markers, everything in between, but the fact that this is a production dark horse engine really speaks volumes and just shows the direction that Ford Performance is going in with this car. But I don't know about you, looking at it's great, talking about it's even better, but let's fire it up and hear what the heck it sounds like. to see what the interior looks like on this dark horse R. Now what's fascinating is remember no pricing is available yet but expect this to be something that's going to be very competitive when you're looking at what it would take to build a race car. That's something that there's an old saying that if you want to make a million dollars in racing spend two million but guess what Ford is trying to make it to where it's more palatable to get behind the wheel of one of these and you have a full turnkey setup. But why don't we go ahead and see what Ford has changed compared to the street going version to the door panels. Now, one thing to remember is that this is a pre-production unit. So this is not the final race car for the Dark Horse R that's gonna take the field next year, but it's pretty darn close. You'll notice the door panel clean of everything except the stock door handle and switch gear for your lock and unlock. And then going from the door panel to the dash, same thing, 
factory dash setup. This is all based off of the rules that they're gonna have where you have that full production setup. Obviously, they removed the infotainment system, but dropping your way down, you see the plethora of switch gear. One of the things that's interesting is that they keep that start stop button. They're not trying to make this a complicated thing, something that can easily be run consistently, race in and race out. We have our Tremec six speed manual transmission. And then you'll notice that dark horse frame, how it's been reinforced, seam welded. And then we have that pending FIA certified cage. So that's something that's getting pending right, that's going through pending right now, but it will be certified at some point. But this is what the vehicle has to help protect the driver inside, especially when you're looking at the spec series. But why don't you come over to the business end? Because I know this is where you want to be sitting behind the wheel of this Dark Horse R. All right, guys, the most important time, the business end. Obviously, with these engines all being equal, like I said, it's gonna come down to what driver is the better driver that's gonna win that first ever Mustang Challenge Championship. But coming in, you'll notice stock Mustang sill plate. As you rise up, you have your push for the net release, which that comes with your race net, and then check out the steering wheel. Something you would expect from a Ford Performance race car. You have all your switch gear, pit lane speed limiter, the whole shabam, like I said, comes, I think that's the key, comes like this from Ford Performance. The steering wheel is obviously removable, and then you have your MoTeC data acquisition system and gauges that obviously is in the off position, but you do have your shift lights up top, and then you'll notice that other brand when it comes to racing performance, Recaro. And I think it's nice that Ford has that relationship with Recaro because you could get the Recaros in your Dark Horse. Heck, you could even get the Recaros in your Mustang GT or your EcoBoost. And here they are in this Dark Horse R. But you know what? I would love to get out on to the track at Charlotte Motor Speedway in this car, but we're gonna have to wait on that one. But why don't we wrap it up from the Ford Performance Technical Center. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day here at the Ford Performance Technical Center. Remember, don't forget, set your watch, set your sundial, mark your calendar, August 1st, 6 a.m. Eastern. We have the drive, the full drive of the Dark Horse production street vehicle coming. But definitely want to thank everybody here at Ford Performance for allowing us some private time with what Ford is moving in with the direction of making these turnkey ready Dark Horse R race cars, and especially that upcoming Mustang Challenge race. But let me know what you think. Do you like what Ford is doing here, and especially Ford Performance? Remember, growing up, I've been around SVO, SVT, and now Ford Performance, all the amazing vehicles. It seems they still have more in the bag that's yet to come. But let me know down in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to the strongest person in YouTube working that camera like a champ. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.